What's good? Welcome back to Saturday and Chill. Well, the first video, Buckle Down Kids, is going to be a fun short story while I walk you through what happened. Well, I beat Rourke after he knocked out my Bidoof, aka Brudoof. Tearful moments were shared, I got pissed off, knocked his teeth in, won the badge, bumped into my good old buddy, ran into a house by accident because I wasn't looking where I was going, running out said house, trying to get back to where I was going, went to Route 207, couldn't get past it because, oh, silly me, I don't have an acro bike, so I can't go up sand. Smart. Well, that and also Elgato likes to play the game of, I'll work when I want to work. So, I'm angry, but at the same time, I'm calm about it because the video did save as an mp4 file. I've, I've seen it, it's on there, but I cannot upload it. I can only tell you that I beat Rourke, and hopefully, in the future, going forward, I'm going to make sure every damn time, because I'm, I'm going to break my rule on PG-13 for a moment, every damn time, going forward, from now on, to always check, to make sure it's loading up, saving on an mp4 file, and saving to YouTube, because shenanigan mode activated, I've had it up to here with Elgato shite. That's right, I used an accent, I don't rightly care. Also because my family's kinda Irish, so yeah. Why not, right? If you use it, use it. Don't lose it. Cause once you lose it, it's gone. It seems like only yesterday my body was so weak. Now look at him, level 15. Alright, <laughs> enough accents for now. For now. Never know if I'll bring it back up again. But yeah, that's basically what happened. And I'm also, if you see me like noticing, like if I keep darting towards the timer, it's because I'm always watching to make sure it's working right. I swear, I got so far as to actually meeting Team Galactic for the first time, and I actually battled them and won. But that's not on there because, oh yeah, by the way, that video only recorded to 23 minutes. 23 minutes of me talking to myself, thinking, ah, yeah, it's recording, all right. That's why I'm constantly, like, watching it. And I know it's got space, so it better not play the trick like, oh, no, you only have this much room to record. You can't really get more. I even, heck, I even mentioned, like, that little lake right there, little pond, where there was an item, where I said, ah, I'll never be able to get to that in episode one. There's a, there's a little walkway right there. There's a little steps. I felt like an idiot. Heck, I felt like an idiot when Elgato decided to say, Ah, oh, no! <laughs> that video don't exist! Time down! I don't have time for this Zubat! And by time, I mean patience. I want to get to Team Galactic, like I did the last time. I swear. I legit almost pulled my hair out when I found out the video actually saved, but didn't actually save. These are the things. I mentioned this in the last video with Sora, saying I would make sure that this wouldn't, like, this thing wouldn't happen, but at this point, it's not even me. It's either my PC or Elgato's to blame. Like, human error is one thing, but if your device screws up, then not much you can do but say your device screwed up. Hell, again, that Sora video, which I'll probably link up top. Still watching that dang time, though. Watching you. Not you. You. I'm serious. And as serious as I am, I'm going to even do this. Save. Because... I don't trust Elgato right now. I really don't. Yeah, find a way to share your product. Yeah, trust our product. It'll be great. These egg heads right here. 
They even talk to Rowan too. Impeccable timing as always. Babbling about utter nonsense, it just makes my stomach... Ugh. And yeah, I love how he forces me into just battling these two knuckleheads, these chuckle nuts who aren't even paying attention to me. Hey! Pay attention! Look over here! Over here! Also, they want his research an excuse for saying, like, if you don't hand over your research, we're gonna make sure your assistant is collateral damage, or make sure she doesn't, like, so she doesn't become collateral damage, just hand over your papers, like, dude. It's kinda harsh. And again, I love how he forces me into battling these eggheads. Crazy. This is a good battle, but not for Bradoof, of course. Instead... Actually, this might be the debut for Bradoof to make his mark. Etch your name in stone, my brother. Etch your name in stone. Let the world know your name as Bradoof, the Golden God. Heck, I even did a little bit about um, <laughs> Ghostbusters Zool. It was, it was a funny little bit that I did because I forget the reason why, but I did the bit and honestly, if I could share the video, I would. There is no Dana. Only Bradoof. Sort of like that. Wimple, use tackle. It didn't do junk. Dang. Wimple became flatful. Dead. Now, did you two idiots learn your lesson? How is this possible? We're losing to children! Yeah, take it to your grave. Here lies Bullcut, lost to child. Sad. Now, keep your freaking money. I think I kind of remember where that bit came from. I kind of did it in the first episode, but I didn't explain where I got it from. I think it's from Nostalgia Critic. I think that's where it's from. I hope I didn't leave you folks waiting too long in the darkness, did I? Basically, Rowan just studies evolution of Pokemon. Short and simple.
Exposition, exposition, let's... Thank you. Oh, yeah, I even met her too. Those guys look awfully scary. It was like watching a... It's like a breath of fresh air. Anyways, my name's Beatty. I work in the systems administration for Hearthome City, east of here. Now, as thanks for putting up such a good show, I'll let you access the Pokemon boxes from anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. I can imagine if I'm in a freaking tight jam that I'll need a Pokemon from my box. Except for one. Again, this is from the first video that I couldn't get out, but it was a Onyx that I could not for the life of me capture for some reason. Wanted to annoyingly not get in the dang thing, and I'm just like, okay. So I said, you know what? You want to be stubborn? You're staying in the box forever. If I actually need you, and I actually find a dang metal coat to which I can trade you, then, then you'll be useful as a Steelix. Also, she's giving me the uh, ball capsule so I can put it on the Pokeball when I choose. And these stickers that I got from Rourke, which are the uh, boulder stickers, I can put on the Pokeball itself. So that should be fun, figuring out how to do that. Actually, let's see. Oh, there it is. I literally didn't actually check it out to see. Oh. Cool. Alright. Don't know... I can toggle between 2D and 3D. Hmm. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's got different effects. Cool. Yeah. Different effects. But it doesn't show me which Pokemon it is. Hmm. Oh, wait, there it is. I was about to say, like, which Pokemon can I select? Yeah, there we go. And then place a sticker. Okay. Alright, so that's already established. I guess we'll see what it looks like when we get to it. Finally, I can move on. Oh. Break it! I love how it's actually just regular Bidoof instead of my shiny Brudoof. I know, for the remainder I'm going to keep referring to him as Brudoof. That's it. So, it just defaults to that? Like, no shiny Pokemon can be... Oh, Rock Tomb. Cool. So, like, no shiny Pokemon can be, like, deferred to that? That's kind of dumb. Like, imagine if you had a shiny Pokemon in party, and you gave him a, a TM move for it, and he can't actually, like, show up as shiny. It's kind of like saying, like, the sprites don't show up as shiny. Whatever. Actually, real quick, I want to see. Yep, it even shows it, little marker right there. Yep. Shows that it's right there on there. Cool. Cool beans, bro. Oh, I saw it. That is cool. Are you astonished? Nope. Bye. Between that light, my light over here, that's blinding. Please don't battle me. I don't want to battle you right now. I, I really don't. Why are there so many trainers? Great. I have no choice. I legit have no choice. 
No, no, that's not what I was doing. I think my controller's on lag or something. Here we go. Ah, it's an aroma lady. Lady, you drop dead gorgeous. Mm. Dude. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. I am sorry. That was a dumb move of me. I forgot that Budu could have poison points. And I don't have any cure alls, do I? I hope I do. I kind of hope I do. If not, I'm screwed. I'd have to wait till I get to a town. Oh no. Why? Why didn't the town have any poison heals? Friggin' Luxio! Out of my way! Your bodacious bod can... Your bodacious bod can wait. I have to get to the Pokemon Center, or at least somewhere nearest to heal my Pokemon. You didn't have much money on you, did you? Why are you battling kids? No. <sighs> no! Huh, thank goodness. There we go. So this is Floroma Town, huh? It's very serene. I get in there. Even on a three-dimensional grid, you still can't get in the dang building. Quick! Kill my Luxio! There I am gone. All right, I'm going. Yo, old folks. Oh, are you there? And I gather you've seen the wishing star before. Would you mind taking this Pokemon? I think it would be perfect for you. If I seem legit surprised, it's because I really am. That's the best reaction you can get from somebody who's never played, like, okay, Diamond and Pearl. And then, like, okay, I knew there was an event to get Jirachi depending on what game you have as a save file, like whether you have, if you have freaking, um, Let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu, you can get Mew. If you have Sword and Shield, you can get Jirachi. I knew about that, I just didn't know it was going to be in Floroma Town, and I didn't know it was going to be this soon. So now I have a Jirachi that I can't use. Why? At least have the old man say, Oh, well, it seems like you're not quite ready yet for Jirachi. Eh, don't worry. Come back when you've gotten your ass kicked by Cynthia, our champion. This Jirachi's not going nowhere. But no. I'm not complaining. I mean, I got a Jirachi. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I legit have no name I can think of for Jirachi. Wow. That sucks. I guess because it's so sudden, it's like... What do you name it? What, what level is it? Sorry, Bam Bam. Oh, yeah. 
I also mentioned how I would get a perfect fighting type Pokemon and name it Bam Bam, and that was also in the video and I could never actually... You get it. You, you've heard me talk about it. So yeah, Bam Bam. I wish you and this Pokemon the grandest of adventures together. Cool. What level is it? You've got to be kidding. Level 5, Jirachi. Wow. Okay. That's... Perfect? I am legit stumped. I... I'm legit stumped and... Dang. Hmm. Well, you're definitely not staying at the front of the team, that's for sure. You got anything for me? Any other Pokemon? Of course not. Why, hello there! I see you're adventuring Pokemon. I'm sure you're making many lovely memories together. My husband's a fool. Why did he give you a legendary Pokemon in the first place? Honey, you're so stupid. <laughs> that kid has no idea that Jirachi's broken. Do you know about the Grace Idea flowers? They're given as a bouquet to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition apart in around these parts. Ah, yes, for Shaman. Floraroma Town. Vivid and scented. You'd think it would at least take me down to a pan down shot like the other cities did. No. The one place that doesn't do it. I wanted to get some flowers from the Florum. Floraroma Meadows. But, team, but some Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> Point Dexter. Welcome to Floroma. The town of flowers. Flowers and more flowers. You should plant some flowers on your own, too. Yay for flowers. I don't like how that felt. I don't. Pick a peck of colors flower shop. Free berries available. Well, yeah, they're outside. Yoink! Don't mind if I yoink them. Berry trees are profoundly interesting. If you grow them with care, they will bear great berries. There are two cherry berries. Would you like to pick them? Yes. Would you like to know more? Write down in the comments if you got that reference. I doubt anyone's gonna get that one. But if you did, then hey. You'd like to know more. And that's great. That's great, citizen. That's great. You're doing this galaxy proud. A good bug is a dead bug. That's a, that's an easy giveaway. If no one gets that, I'd be freaking amazed. And also sad, because that's legit easy. Thank you, I'll take a spray duck. Does it look like an actual side duck? I did want to talk to you a second time. Would you like to exchange berries for some stickers? Not right now. But it's good to know that you have stickers will grow into a plant and make several berries. By planting one, you'll get... Hmm, excuse me. You'll get more and more. Again, I'm still like, again, I keep checking that time because I'm making sure it's gonna do it right. And then after this video is done, I'm gonna make sure, double sure, it works. Otherwise, this is the last video you see of me making. And I really don't want to do the last. I really don't, because this game is freaking adorable and charming. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? Stop reading my mind! I was just talking about how this game is already uplifting my soul. Stop reading my mind. I got drawn here by a sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? Am I a 
Pokemon or something? Mmm, honey. Humans would be Pokemon, yes. You're not far off there, buddy bye. Wow, four room of town's kinda short, isn't it? Aren't we Team Galactic? And we're assigned here. Standing around among flowers, this doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment, but bug and grass type Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Oh, so you just got the same thing said. Okay, go. Dang it. <sighs> I made it out. I survived. I made it out. No more. Don't mind me, folks. Still kind of baffled that I got a dang level 5 Jirachi. Hold up now. That is freaking delightful. I love it. Help! Help! Trainer! Please, can you get my papa for me? He works at Valley Windworks. But the people dressed in space, like space aliens, are mean and won't let me in. Don't worry, little girl. Hold on. <clears throat> Don't worry, little girl. I'll save your papa with my amazing superpowers. Hey, Tweedledee and Tweedledumass, let me through. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in Eternia Forest. This is far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floraroma Town. We also are using the energy of Valley Windworks for something. I don't freaking know what. I don't get paid much. I'm a grunt, okay? What do you want from me? It's no concern of yours. How about I slap the piss out of your bowl cut and turn it into a freaking mop? You look like a dang mop. Your mama was a mop. Yeah, that's why I freaking thought. Your mama was a mop. Diss him while I walk away. <laughs> Diss him and walk away all slow. Ah, Valley Wind works. I hear tale you can find a Drifloon here, but only on Fridays. Sadly enough, this is Saturday, so I've missed my window of opportunity. Eh, what can you do? Ah, yeah. Now, I hear there's a key. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out. There's not, they're not, they're not a part of Team Galactic, of course. Again, I'm a grunt. I don't get paid enough for acting, okay? I get paid in freaking peanuts. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try and get in. Okay, then. You'll have to battle me for it. Don't you mean I'll have to battle you and then you'll freaking puss out and then lock the door on me? Yeah, that's right. I read the guidebook. This guidebook. Unfortunately, it does not say where the key is. It just says it's in Floor Roma Town. Thanks, guidebook. So apparently the key's somewhere in Floor Roma. And wherever that's at, I have no idea. Maybe it's in a trash can? Please say it's in a trash can. That would make my journey back to Floral Realm so easy. And suck a power of punch. Gotta stay hydrated. Congratulations, Jirachi. You're gaining experience by being just there. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. 
Aw, oh, don't doubt yourself. You just suck. Just gonna look at the cheat book real quick. Just real quick moment. It doesn't say. It just says it's in Floroma. Oh. Thanks, you frickin' Nimrod. I know you're a grunt and you don't only get paid in peanuts, but you literally just helped me out. I was freaking out because the guidebook doesn't say anything about where the key is. Now I know. Thank you. You're gonna feel like a complete jackass when I come back. Don't worry, Missy. I'm on the way. What the? What? You jackholes. Yo. Enough arguing. Hand over the sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Huh? Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? You can always shank him. No, we can't shank him. We can't have a brat running off to get help. Our solution is simple. We must ensure that the brat stays quiet. Ah, I see you've chosen death. It's a good look on you. I hear it's in season. Death is all the rage in season. 